everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Right now I'm headed to LAX, oh actually no, uh, I just picked up the rental car, but by the time you get this video, I will be headed to LAX, or I'm probably already at LAX, I'm going to Costa Rica for the Mo Titanium Mastermind, so it's going to be uh, great fun and uh, looking forward to meeting all the attendees there. If you're going, I look forward to meeting you. And I guess that's a, a good subject to talk about today, and that is traveling. You see, uh, a couple of days ago, I, I picked up Sally's passport, you know, because she's, she's taking a trip to, uh, to Shanghai, so she had, I had to go to the Chinese consulate to get her passport with a visa on there. So I picked it up. And I was looking for a passport, you know, and to make sure the visa, the visa, I guess, sticker was on her passport page. And I was noticing all the stamps from various countries on her passport. And I kind of realized that Sally has racked up more air miles than most adults. She's been to, by now, almost a dozen different countries. And I don't know how many cities, but... She's, she's definitely has a world view on thing. And I think getting a world view is extremely important to term, in terms of a child's development and in just getting them to know the world. Because, you know, I, I think a lot of people who are born in America, and it, it's amazing, I wasn't born in America, I was born in mainland China. So I feel People who are born in America won the lottery, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, America was, I think, like 4 or 5% of the world's population. So, you know, your chance of being born in the USA is like 5%, 1 in 50. Something like 1 in 50. That's your odds of getting born. So, I wasn't that lucky. But people who are born here, I feel a lot of them just, they don't, they don't appreciate what they actually have. I mean... They don't seem to realize that this is the greatest country in the world, literally. I mean, that's why I live here. It's why I ended up here, because this is the American dream. But unfortunately, for most Americans, they don't appreciate it. I don't know why. Uh, I, 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 listen, I, I listen, watch the news, and especially when you have to them post. Oh, God. I mean, just the bitching and complaining and the handouts, give me this, uh, they don't do this for me, I want this, I want that. I mean, uh, if I'm going to Costa Rica, all right, and if you try to do some of the same crap that Americans try to do, I mean, they would bust your ass so badly. To, and if you try to do it in a country even worse, like, say, North Korea, they'll shoot you. But uh, <laughs> So I really feel that if more Americans were to travel, and not just travel within their own country, I mean, you know, that's great and everything, but if more Americans would just travel and see, I guess, the other side of the fence, they realize that the grass is not greener on the other side. And actually, you are right now have the greenest grass of them all. All right, so learn to appreciate that. And, and one of the reasons I travel is that it reinforces my appreciation for where I live. You will, you will, very often, you'll never hear me complain about no good doing nothing. You never hear, you never hear me complain about those kind of stuff. Because, first of all, I realized that, uh, well, I've been taught this way that, you know, you make your own way. You don't like a situation, you have to you to change it. Not up to the government, not up to the, your friends or your next door neighbor. You have to change it. You have to take the action to change it. But unfortunately, you know, with, with the way it is here, basically, you know, people expecting handouts or what are you going to do for me, vote for me, out, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. And anyway, I guess I'm getting at some kind of rant when I really shouldn't be. But the, the message, the message my, my message is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, you should appreciate especially if you live in the United States, or you live in any tier one country, like Canada, US, Europe, any tier one country, you should really appreciate what you have and where you live. Because the most of the world, they would kill 
to be where you're at, all right? Appreciate it. I certainly do. And uh, I do appreciate you guys watching me. And if you like that, give me a thumbs up for that. Uh, JohnChapelJohnChow.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, my next video will be from Costa Rica. I will see you there.